about 800 kilograms. Its main antenna is 12 feet in diameter, which is the largest we could launch. There's this body, this 10-sided can called the bus, and that's got all the electronics and the computers, and that's got these arms and these appendages that stick out. There's this feet that connected it to the rocket, and then a really long arm with a magnetic field sensor on it over here, and another arm over there with this plutonium power supply to give it its electricity. You can't keep that too close to the spacecraft because it'll radiate the spacecraft. And another arm with this device that had the cameras and other instruments on it that could point around, kind of like the eyes, and the big antenna was the ears. When everything is fully extended, it's comparable in size to sort of a small school bus.
And the next slide. The Earth in a Sunbeam. In this color picture, you can see that it is, in fact, less than a pixel. And this is where we live, on a blue dot. On that blue dot, <clears throat> that's where everyone you know and everyone you ever heard of and every human being who ever lived lived out their lives i think this perspective underscores our responsibility to preserve and cherish that blue dot the only from this distant vantage point the earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on the mote of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors, so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings. How eager they are to kill one another. How fervent their hatreds. Our posturings our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and 
character building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. السلام علیکم ہم زمین کے رہنے والوں کی طرف سے آپ کو خوش آمدید کہتے ہیں دھرتی کے باسیوں کی اور سے نمشکار Never taking whatever you told me I don't know what I could be Never the most painful answers I know Is this what you made me? Yeah.